Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of Buy or Nah with your host, your dad. Now today's episode, we have a new team of the week, so let's go have a quick look at that team of the week, shall we? So this team of the week features some interesting players. We got a lot of League A players for some reason, including Mbappe, including Talban, including Bertrand Troyori, with the one star weak foot. He doesn't have a right foot. So these are some pretty interesting players. This is also an important question for you guys because I did get Elite 3. Well, I didn't get it. My brother, my dad, my brother dad actually got it. So should he open that Elite pack with the guaranteed 3 informs? Because this week has some good players like Mbappe Salah, but uh, it also has a lot of bad ones. And yeah, I don't, he doesn't know what to do. But we're not concerned with those mugs because we have our own player who hopefully is not going to be a mug and his name is Divakarigi. He has an inform card and honestly I was looking at the uh, subreddits for FIFA because that is a site I frequent. Another site I frequent is patreon.com slash long transaction. But on that subreddit I didn't see a lot of love for Divakarigi and I thought he has a pretty good looking card. 87 pace, 84 shot, 82 physical and then when you go and see why he has the 80 physical he has 87 strength. So I slapped nothing but the Hawk chemistry style onto him, which gives him 92 strength. Uh, let's see here. Also 95 acceleration, 94 pace overall. It boosts his finishing, which is already 87 because he's normally a striker, uh, but he's on loan, I think, at Wolfsburg from Liverpool, or he got transferred, or he's actually become an actual wolf, actually. So this guy, for all intents and purposes, should be really good. I've thrown him into this squad. I'm not going to play this formation because this is one of the worst formations and is what your dad probably uses if your dad is Tony Pulis. But we do have some interesting players like Julian Brandt. Haven't used him. I've got his inform card. Matthias Ginter, he looks super excited that he's an 82 or he's just really hungry. We're probably going to switch to a... Actually, I have no idea what we're going to switch to. But we're going to take off this guy, Waldschmidt. And we're going to put Origi up top. And then we'll put Bellarabi over there. Um, I might put Kagawa on. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. As always, if you guys do enjoy these videos, drop a like. Let's see if we can hit 82 likes for the 82 rated Divock Origi. Alright, this first opponent, 4.5 star 80 overall, 100 chem team. He's playing no center backs. And he has Ashley Young. So that's basically like two defenders. Julian Brand. Still Julian. Julian! Julian! I didn't review his card for the first time, but inside of two minutes he's already finessed it in. And he's got really white hair. Go Julian? Oh my gosh, Julian Brandt. Bro, you gotta, ch you gotta chill out, Julian. This is not your episode. You don't get an episode, Julian. You just don't. Oh, Rigi, just run. Who is this? Who's, keep who's trying to keep up with you? How is he so fast? I'm very confused. Still with the Rigi. Go! Go, my son. My black son. My black son scored. Or is he my dad? Look at Joe Hart. He's trying to brush off that dandruff. Head and shoulders doesn't work, bro. That was actually a really good finish. Thankfully, Benjamin Mendy decided to show off his splits right before that shot. Inside, Divakarigi. Show the scoop turn. Now the finish. Not a great finish, but it's going to fall right to my boy, Shinji. Now, Shinji actually is. He's not my dad. He's, he's just a good friend. Origi, come on, Origi, just bully Ashley Young. Bully Ashley Young. Bully whoever's trying to mark you right now. Turn them both. Wish them farewell. Ah, Joe Hart made a good save there. Can we get the shot away? No, we can't, but we still have it. I could have laid it off. I should have laid it off, but I'm a greedy little mug. Play it through. Divock Origi, come on. Beat this. Who is this? Ashley Young. Get by Ashley Young. Keep going. I don't have the weak foot, but... Okay, it does matter. I was going to say, but it doesn't matter, but it clearly does. All right, at the break, we are completely dominating this match, but we're only up 3-0. I'm actually going to switch Brent and Origi, because this guy doesn't control his fullbacks whatsoever, so I can just run by him. But then Origi only has a 3-star weak foot, so as he just witnessed, he doesn't always hit the target. Origi for Julian Brent. Julian Brent plays it inside for Origi, takes a touch, hits it! Ooh, that was nice. Except for the part where you missed. Good tackle by Origi. Origi, I can tell he has the 87 strength, and it's not... It's not a little banter. Why do we keep getting it on his left? Hey, finished one. Okay, 4-0. That was started by Origi because he just bullied someone and injured him. That's what I like to see. Injuries, it's like two goals worth for me. Origi, finesse this. Okay. <laughs> Sula will claim that he meant to do it. And he probably did. Is this the greatest assist of all time? Right? He didn't even... Okay, no, he did flinch. Right off the balls. The balls! Oh, it's going to fall perfectly for Kevin Campbell. Keep going, Kevin. Kevin! Back post for Origi. Six, no. Keep the clean sheet or you're all fired. Keep the clean sheet or everyone here is fired. Origi plays a one-two. 
Julian Brandt looks for that ball for Origi. Origi, hit it for me. What a finish. 7-0. That's what I like to see. That's a, He has at least a hat trick, I think. Um, that's a solid finish on the right foot. Bruma for Origi. Origi, another one. 8-0. Full-time whistle. 8-0. Final score. I think Origi had four goals. Hey, that's his number. What are the odds? Five for Origi, actually. I thought he only had four. No assists. All right, the second opponent has Jesus, Martial, and also Mares. He's got Coughlin in there for the banter, I'm supposing. Uh, he's also got Bakayoko, of course, under Herrera, Boateng next to Alba. And then um, he's also got Feman, Bailly, and Aurier. Back heel, what a back heel, Nutmeg City. It's one nil, Origi gets on the end of that. I don't know who got that assist. I think it might have been Matthias Ginter. Inside, Origi, finesse. Oh, should have scored that one. Fair mind, good save. Play it wide. Origi, come on, you got the pace. That's actually really good to get by Boateng there. Now, can you get by Bai? He does. That guy didn't take a good angle. Still with him. Center it. One more. Julian Brandt for Ka Oh, Alaba. That was really good work from Origi, though. Origi, play it inside. Kagawa, up top. Play it down for Divock Origi. Left foot again. Left foot again. I said his weak foot was bad, but maybe that was a pre-assumed judgment because he scored a lot he scored more on the left foot than he has on the right come on Rigi, run at them oh he's causing so many problems what a save by Faman the finger great ball Rigi, run onto that hold him off who is this who is he trying to get away from i don't know who it was i think it was Bai. he got away from Bai. oh the finish should have should have been better we still have it though Rigi. okay he gets the hat trick nicely done hat trick inside of 30 minutes any he busted Bai right there. Now he just has to bust Bakayoko. He did bust this guy's dreams. That's a rage quit. All right, this guy. Very similar formation, but he has Lalana, Coutinho, Eriksson. Doesn't have many of the same players. I don't think he actually has any of the same players. Front three of Mkhitaryan, Rashford, and then Sonny Gimaldo. Go Origi. Oh, Origi with the dribbling. Still with Origi, with the turn. Origi, all the way. Oh, what a save by Ederson. Kagawa. Plays it for Origi. Divok. How's the finesse game? His finesse isn't too good. Here's Origi. He's got runners. Or he's just going to take it himself. There you go. 1-0. Inside of 20 minutes. This guy's a better opponent. More solid defensively. But he's not solid enough to stop the Origi monster. Good ball roll right here. He does have four-star skills. Which is very important. It's a huge step up from three. Go Origi. Ah, his touch, his touch when he's running at full speed is not too good. I know you're not really supposed to do that, but a player like Gabriel Jesus is able to do that. Let's see what he can do here in this situation with the finesse. His finesse is not very good, as I've mentioned before. Play it for Origi. Origi, scoop turn. Still Origi in the box. Still Origi in the box. How many fake shots can a man do? Right at the break, uh, we're really dominating this match, but only up 1-0. And I would say Origi is missing a lot of chances that I would hope someone of his price would put away. Play it now. Origi, bang it. Hey, there you go, Origi. His long shots are pretty decent. 2-0 up. I forgot to mention his shot power, but it is pretty high. So the one you combine that with like 92 finishing with Hawk, he should finish these chances. With that being said though, that was a shot from outside the box. So I don't think finishing really plays as much of a factor as long shots. And he seems to have decent long shots, even though I think the only, the rating was like 66. Oh no, I don't know why I'd... I don't know why I did that. Uh, it's 2-1 and he's back in it. Here's Origi. There you go, Origi. That's a nice finish. 3-1. I'm surprised he didn't get the block in. Another one on the left foot. He's actually got a left foot, boys. Contrary to popular belief. Oh no. Good one too. Devinson Sanchez. <laughs> I did it again. Why am I doing... <laughs> why do I keep doing that? Devinson Sanchez just chipped me. I deserved it. That's a penalty. Origi with a nice scoop turn. He knew Dyer was coming in like a hot potato. He's got poop on his elbow too. He needs to clean that up. All right, Origi. So let's seal this game off. He's only got 71 for pens, but he slides it in right there. 4-2. You do it for the pride of Scotland. Full-time whistle, 4-2. Divock Origi scored four goals. I think he has at least 12 goals by now in just three matches. You know what, boys and girls? Of all ages, I think that I'm going to add a new segment to this show called the mid-episode Q&A, or just Q&A for short, I guess. 
So from now on, I'm going to have a brief portion in between matches where I answer your questions because I was supposed to do a Q&A probably two months ago and I didn't do it because I'm a lazy bastard. So drop a question, hashtag Q&A, you mug, and I'll, I'll answer it. All right, we're into the final. The Shmoney team. Shmoney, 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 really? Just because your name is Shmoney, I'm going to score 17 goals on you for Scotland. Julian Brandt weaves it in. Didi Vakarici on the left foot. He cannot stop scoring on his left. That wasn't even in the corner. It was just so incredibly powerful, even though he clearly didn't get all of it. But the keeper just decided to let it go in. There's Shinji. Shinji for Divac Origi. Good block. Comes to Kevin Campbell. Come on, Divac. Spin on him. Sp oh, what a save by De Gea. He made up for that other miss. Come on, Divac. Very good strength to get away from Bai. I told you, he's a Bai Bakayoko buster. Keep going, son. Keep going, Buster Jim. Buster Jim. Good save. No. Oh, Erickson. I don't know how that clipped through. One all. Tough match in the final. It's what we should expect. Kagawa. Play a 1-2. Julian Brent. Back for Divakarigi. First touch, second touch in the back of the net. Very nicely done. 2-1. Doesn't look like the greatest goal, but he was running at a full sprint, so I'm glad that his touch didn't take him too close to De Gea, but at the same time was far enough to get away from David Luiz. Lucas Piszczek. Back post. He's wide open. It's Divakarigi. Wow. He was completely free. Gets the hat trick. He scored a hat trick at least in every single match, and this one's not even at halftime yet. All right, we're at the break. Uh, we're up 3-1. Origi has a hat trick. That's a lot of boxes checked off. Play it now for Divac Origi, who's through. Oh, the strike was a bad one, and he's fallen to the ground in shame. Oh no, that's a good ball back post. Jesus takes it down well. 3-2, 65th minute. Still got a lot of time left to play in this game. Play it wide. Go Divac Origi. Run. How's your touch? Is he kind of tired? Is he slow? He held off Bailly, but good save by De Gea. There's Julian Brandt. Julian Brandt. Julian Brandt all the way. What a finish that was. 4-2. Julian Brandt hasn't gotten a lot of shine in this game because I've really been trying to force it to Origi. But in the two finesse shots that he's had, they've been upper bins. Look at that one. That was actually really cool. 1-2. Play it through for Origi. Come on, Origi. I know you're tired, son, but so is so is my mom. My mom's tired of my dad. <laughs> hey, 5-2. Full-time whistle, 5-3. We are the champions, by the way. And Divac Origi scored, I think, an average of like four goals in those four matches. So, this boy, Divac Origi, had 16 goals in four games played. That's an average of four goals a game. Also had a 10 rating in every single match, so four goals and a 10. That's pretty dang good. Now, as far as his stats go, uh, the finishing, attack positioning, shot power, long shots. Oh, I thought it was 66. That is a 76. So that does go up with Hawk. Uh, they were all good. Um, I would say that the stamina, 78, I thought it was a little bit lower. I would say it felt more like 70 because he did get pretty tired after the 80th minute, but he did still manage to score some goals. There are two things that actually keep this from becoming a must-buy in my opinion, and the first one is the balance. The balance is only 66, so that affects the dribbling. Dribbling affects the pace, so he's not really like a 94 pace player in my opinion. He's still fast, and he'll beat most players off the dribble, but the balance keeps him from being rapid. The second thing that keeps it from being incredible is the curve. Uh, as you've witnessed in like two or three shots, there were beautiful opportunities for a finesse, and a finesse is really broken in this game, but his finesse shot was not good enough. Still, incredible card, 87 strength is what sets this apart for me. So I would say definitely buy him. Uh, I paid 45K for him, but that's because he's only been out for about an hour. I would not be surprised if he dropped down to 30, 35K and that's a pretty good price for him. I wouldn't play him on the right mid, on the left mid, anything like that. I would just play him straight up the middle as a striker. We're gonna sell on this Divac Origi just because I need the coins. I need you guys to tell me what player I should review next. Thank you guys for joining. Leave your questions as well. I will see you boys in another time, in another zone. And as always, don't forget to spare pets.